smoothtickets.com. Once again, that's smoothtickets.com or give them a call at 404-374-1150. Once again, that's 404-374-1150. You got to tell them, though, that I sent you. You got to tell them that Doug Stewart sent you. Once again, smoothtickets.com. That's smoothtickets.com. Yeah! Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com, America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitment. Play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play, so you're never stuck with the same players. Last year, $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STU to play for free. That's Stu for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code Stu, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code Stu. This is your folk, Doug Stewart. Want to protect you and your family from life's unexpected mishaps? Then join Seven. Join 7 is a prepaid legal company under the umbrella of the Protection Group. Join 7 is the only group benefit or motor club in the U.S. that offers auto reimbursement coverage, key replacement coverage, roadside assistance, gives you a current metafile, prescription savings, and fully encompassed prepaid legal benefits that include identity theft. They got your back. The average combined cost to purchase these benefits individually is over $850 a year. Join today and take advantage of all seven for $17 a month. They've been around for over 20 years, so check them out by clicking on the banner link on my page, the thedougstewartshow.com, or the app. Just go ahead and join seven. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. Let me just read chat, man. Uh, thank you so much for being totally interactive. The number to the show is 404-382-0338. You can email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. But um, the easy way to be totally interactive, man, is just to jump to the chat on Spreaker dot com. Let me read some uh, chat messages and get your your uh, response from uh, the OJ talk that I had last two segments, basically. Uh, O.J. Simpson made in America from um, mm, from Clay A.C. Collins to La- Latoya Davis. He says, uh, Thorny, the documentary will show that racism is just as bad as in other regions of the country and not just the South. Yeah, that's another big point they've been making. Uh, they, they, they talked to a lot of people that moved to L.A., you know, for, for better prosperity, uh, people that moved from the South. Uh, to L.A. with this great American dream in mind, and they got out there and they found out that it's just as bad as it was in in the Jim Crow South. Um, So you see a lot of commentary from people. I can't remember the guy's name right now. He's like a civil rights activist out there in L.A., and uh, he talked about moving from Louisiana and uh, and going out there. That's another thing, man. A a lot of people that live in California – like I I remember Snoop Dogg – you know, not Snoop Dogg, I'm sorry, uh, Master P – Talking about he has a lot of people in California. So we've talked about how people from, you know, South Carolina, they traditionally back in the day used to move to New York City, uh, Jersey or whatever. They go straight north. And people in Alabama and Mississippi, you know, they go straight north and they'd hit the Midwest cities. And so people from Louisiana as well, there's a huge contingency of uh, Louisiana people that evidently moved to California, to L.A., because they talked to, like, two guys in this uh, this documentary that were from L.A. originally or Louisiana originally. O.J. Simpson's people are actually from Louisiana as well. Uh, you remember Master P saying when he moved to California, you know, he's from L.A., uh, from Louisiana. So uh, that was kind of interesting as well. That's been kind of interesting. From Sidney Jackson, exactly thorny. People complain about the slave movies but continue to watch stuff like this. I don't get it. And see, I'm on the other side of that. I don't, I don't complain about the uh, slave movies. I uh, use them for what they are, reference, <laughs> you know, and as a reminder. So I'm definitely not on that side of it. And, yeah, I, I, I've acknowledged, I've admitted that I'm probably, uh, because when you whittle this thing down, it is foolishness. Um, but 
I, I, I am intrigued by this, and I'm going to continue to watch. And once again, this is what I do. I talk about interesting things, and this is an interesting thing, this whole OJ documentary. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. So I guess that's my excuse. From Cornelia Small, they act like it's Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina, or Virginia. OJ was in California, where if you have money, you can beat cases. All that dog and pony-ish was just for the people. They had no evidence to prove he did it. Uh, if they had evidence, I think they would have done it. It's kind of like the crazy thing. About that whole, when you when you really boil down and think about it, back then, athletes didn't, per se, or really still to this day, athletes really don't get, you know, preferential treatment. I think we as average everyday people think that they do. But no, usually the case is more like what happened to Plaxico Burris, where these municipalities want to make an example out of a dude. You know, like Michael Vick and and Plaxico Burris. So, yeah, it's high profile. Usually they want to put them in jail to make this quote unquote statement that they're fair. So that whole thing about, you know, uh, OJ just got off because he's a celebrity. That's not the case. They didn't have a lot of evidence. They didn't. (laughs) You know, thus he got off. You know, it's crazy how we got revisionist history, man. We're looking at this stuff now in this documentary and like, they talked about all of this in the damn trial. They did. Stephen A. Smith said something stupid as hell a couple of days ago about if he tried this case, he would have tried it better than Marsha Clark and, and Christopher Darden. Ninja, you went to North Carolina Central playing basketball. You get yourself. Okay, let me move on. That's two days in a row I talked about my friend Stephen A. Smith. Just stop it. Those cats were qualified, competent attorneys, okay? That's the reason they got the damn case. They lost it because you had a damn shady damn police force, plant evidence, a history of plant evidence. I said I wouldn't get into all of these details today. <laughs> you, you had, uh, but uh, since I'm here, I might as well. You had a shady police force. You had, you had very limited evidence. If you had any evidence at all, I really don't remember them having any evidence. Like, they had some blood, little specks of blood, and, you know, they tested it and this DNA stuff. But for the way that murder scene looked, it should have been a lot more evidence and blood that they could have found. They found, like, specks. So it was very questionable, man. From Sidney Jackson, basically, F.O.J., ESPN as a record company, and crew, <laughs> and Stephen A. Smith, F.U. too. Yeah. I get it, bruh. Stephen A. says, if I tried O.J. Simpson, he would have been in jail. The hell are you talking about? <laughs> like, that might have been the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life, man, doing this. So you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. From Corey, courts are, uh, are declining if things are legal not to get justice. Um, from, uh, who do we got here? From G- uh, Jam from Snellville. Sounds like Stephen A. may be the new O.J. for the puppet factory. Yeah, he better be careful. <laughs> You better be careful. You better cross all his T's and dot all of his I's. Uh, they waiting for a, sl- a chance just to slam his ass. From T-Dub, that squirt of blood on the side of the truck, syringe. Right. And it seemed like a lot of the evidence, and you know, this is 20 years ago. I watched the trial very, very closely. Like, I could see myself every night coming home and watching Nancy Grace or whatever was on, you know, getting all of the details of the trial while I was at work. So I watched this thing, but yeah. Even the evidence they had, it seemed like it was tampered with evidence. Like, if OJ did do this, he covered it up better than anybody else in the history of the world has covered it up. Let's just put it like that. (laughs) Okay? Um, Big Apple Bastard, how can you murder two folks with a knife but not leave any DNA at the scene? I'll wait. Yes! You're right, Big Apple Bastard. How could you? I'm not saying that he did it or he didn't do it. All I know is I understand, to quote the great Chris Rock, I understand him getting off. By your system, by America's justice system, the man got off. Let it go. (laughs) Let it go. I remember saying letting it go for, you know, two, three, four years after the damn trial ended. I'm still saying let it go 20 years after the fact. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Yeah, like, I mean, just in its basic essence, 
I'm a, I'm a young, strapping young man. You're not going to kill me with no damn knife. You know, and I don't know, maybe he snuck up behind him or whatever, man. But it just wouldn't be that simple. It, it, it seems very, very questionable, all of the details of the case, even 20 years after the fact. It, this documentary almost seems like they're trying to, to change our minds. Or they're trying to reassure people that thought that he did it, that he did. You, you thought that he did it 20 years ago? Well, we're going to really show you why he did it. Or you didn't think he did it 20 years ago? And maybe this information that we're showing you in this documentary is going to change your mind. Huh? Stop it. Yeah, yeah, something, um, uh, yeah. Yeah, something about this don't no smell right. And I've seen a lot of you in the chat room, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, a lot of you in the chat room are saying that they're doing this in the year <laughs> that he uh, is set to get parole, or possibly get parole, just like to damage his credibility even more and his reputation. And maybe. I wouldn't put it past any anything at this point. <laughs> you know, that might be the case. I, I get it. I totally get it. When we get back from the break, man, we do have 15 minutes extra uh, from the normal time because we started the show late today. Uh, hell, we might even do some bonus too. I mean, we'll see. I still got to talk NFL news and notes. Yeah, we might even do a little bit extra than 15 minutes uh, more today. You know. Y'all good listeners, man. I appreciate it. And don't forget, immediately following my show, whatever time it ends, uh, the Underground Railroad Show, my man T from Huntsville, a.k.a. That Ninja. He's talking about this OJ thing as well. <laughs> you can imagine how T's going to do it. Uh, as well as he's talking about uh, gun laws and gun reform in the United States following the Orlando uh, nightclub shooting. So make sure you stay tuned for the Underground Railroad Show right here on the SME Network, whatever time this show ends. Don't go away. We'll be back in three minutes. What is ID Life? Well, over the last 18 years, a group of scientists and doctors have been working on the development of a one of a kind nutritional supplement program that takes all the guesswork out of what you need and delivers your truly personalized pharmaceutical grade nutrition with your name on it directly to your door. Through the integration of thousands of medical and scientific studies, answers you provide to the free assessment and more than 5,470 algorithms that process the data. ID Nutrition recommends what you need, leaves out what you don't, and blocks things known to the system that have possible adverse effects based on the answers you provide. The result is a program that is revolutionizing the health and wellness industry. Welcome to ID Life. For more information, just go to thedougstewartshow.idlife.com. That's thedougstewartshow.idlife.com. Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BV Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bvmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bvmobileapps.com and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. This is Doug Stewart from the Two Live Studios here to tell you about the team at Strickland Security. Let's face it. The metro Atlanta area is a great place to live, but like most major cities, it has a crime problem. There is nothing more important than ensuring the safety of your family and your home. And for business owners, protecting your business is critical because it's your livelihood. Strictly Security can satisfy all of your security needs. The staff at Strictly Security has a combined 55 years of experience in the business of protecting people and property. From alarm systems to uniform security guards and everything in between, Strickland Security has an affordable solution for you. 
To see a list of all their security.